Hi guys, it's Kai here and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a speed build. I'm finally actually building again, like I said I was going to like 4 million years ago. And I'm finally building a townhouse, which also I said I was going to build 4 million years ago. And third point being that it's for Discover University, which again, I said a million years ago when this pack first came out. Um, but I don't know if everyone knows, but with Discover University, they added back in roommates, which is super cool. And the most thing I, the, the most thing, the thing I was most excited for with the roommates was the fact that we can now have functioning townhouses, which I think is really cool. I didn't bother building them before just because I didn't see their purpose because you couldn't actually have them function like proper townhouses. Like you couldn't have roommates you actually had to control them, so they just felt like housemates, like people that were part of your, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Part of your family, and I didn't like that. I mean, some people, are prob uh, not some people, most people are probably okay with that. I am not. I'm picky, so I'm not okay with that. So I was really excited about the fact that we have, like, proper townhomes now. And it's not, like, a lot trade or anything, but you, so you do have to buy the house, the entire house, because it's just seen as a house. And then when you get roommates, you can tell them to be roommates and then you can assign them their beds so you move in first you pick your house and your beds and then you put out an ad get roommates and then assign their beds and then you can lock the doors accordingly so that they can't just come wandering into your house unless you want them to and then you can unlock the door for them let's say if you're having a party or something who knows whatever you do you i don't party but that's fine um, but yeah, and then also your Zins can't just go wandering into their house. So you don't have any of that kind of weird crossover. They're like proper roommates. And I think that's really cool. So I finally got around to building the townhouses and I tried to stick with a style that would match in Discover University, which they said was kind of loosely based off of like European building style. So I was looking up some pictures, trying to get some inspiration and I wasn't feeling it. Everything was a little too bland for me until I finally found like two pictures of some townhomes that I loved for whatever reason. So I ended up combining them. So the two side ones are slightly different style than the middle one, which I think is cool anyway, because then that gives it kind of a visual uh, difference when you look at these. And then also I purposefully made them kind of small. So the two side ones are a little bit smaller than the one in the middle, but in general, these houses or each individual townhouse is very small. Like it only, the middle one has two bedrooms and the two side ones each have one bedroom a piece. And the reason I did that was, again, because I'm building this in Brychester, which is the university place. So I was thinking about Discover University students, like, being there, living there, you know, probably living on their own or maybe with, like, one other person in the place with them. Who knows? I don't know. Um, so, yeah, so I wanted to keep them kind of on the smaller side. But the cool thing is, is that I think with the way it's shaped, you could probably easily or maybe fairly easily expand each section if you put this on a bigger lot because right now it's on a it's on a teeny tiny lot like teeny teeny tiny lot there's barely any room for like a backyard or anything like that i kind of maxed it out in terms of how big i could make the house or the townhomes so very teeny tiny lot that it fits for and it's perfect because there's very teeny tiny bedrooms and very teeny tiny hangout areas but i kind of like it like that like it feels more cozy and like lived in I don't know is that is that weird does that sound weird to say like a tiny house feels more cozy i don't know i mean well speaking of tiny houses they just talked about um what is it called tiny living tiny homes that what the tiny living stuff pack is that what it's called tiny living oh my gosh i'm the worst why don't i know the name of it i personally am pretty excited for it i know if you're on twitter you probably see everybody talking about it and everyone seems to have mixed opinions well actually that's not true i've seen a handful of people that aren't happy about it and they're pretty vocal about not liking about not liking it but the majority of people that i follow seem to be pretty pumped about it and i personally I'm pretty pumped about it. I think it's just, I think it's a cool idea. And the furniture that comes in it, to die for. I love it. Oh, the Murphy bed is back, which is real cool. Um, I don't know how often I'm going to use it, but of course I'm going to have to try and do a tiny home build. Uh, now, oh, and I also wanted to give an update. Um, I was about to say, now that I'm back into like just building, I don't think I want to do LPs anymore. Um, mainly just because I, I personally get bored halfway through an LP because uh, I hate to say this, but I feel like a lot of the packs lack content to keep it interesting. 
And also I feel like I'm just boring, so you guys tend to not watch them after a couple episodes either. So either I'm not gonna do any more LPs or I'm going to attempt to find a way to make them more interesting for both myself and you guys. Um, I don't know, I've just not been feeling it recently. So with my whole YouTube break I took in December of all of what was that, like three or four weeks actually that I didn't post anything and I didn't even record anything and I was barely even watching YouTube. That's how much of a break it was. I was just like not into it. I, I felt completely demotivated. Um, but now that I'm back, I feel more motivated by just doing builds and maybe like one-off sim videos um, of maybe some like interesting challenges that I find or any or come up with. But I'm just not feeling a long-term LP. Unless, unless you guys really enjoy them for whatever reason and you want me to bring them back. But like I said, the views don't show that. So I don't really see the point in me taking my time to do them when I'm bored by them and you guys are bored by them. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. And I'll maybe do what you want. I was going to say I will do what you want, but that's not true. I'm going to do what I want, but your opinion does matter to me. Okay, that was a really long-winded way of saying that I'm no longer doing LPs. <laughs> but I am going to get back into mainly just building, which is what I used to do a long time ago. When I first started my channel, that's like all I did was put speed builds up because it was something that was easy for me to record and I could like bust them out one after another but now I've been lacking in some like build inspiration but now we've gotten so many packs like one after the other that I feel a little more inspired also I follow more builders on Twitter than I did before so again more inspired and I've also finally gotten over my fear or phobia of using the debug menu which has um changed my world. I actually use a lot of the debug items in, not in the house, but in front of it because there's these really cool like signs and mailboxes and things like that. And it just makes it look like a cute little street. Oh, and another thing that I wanted to point out about these houses is if you were to put them on a bigger lot, you could put more of them next to each other. Like you could duplicate them over and you could kind of reorganize it. So you could have like maybe three of the little ones and then one of the big ones, or maybe you want all the big ones and just one little one or something like that. I don't know. To me, I think it's pretty customizable. Um, but when it comes to doing the inside portion in terms of decorating, I wanted to keep it simple and I wanted to keep every single one I wanted to look similar because I wanted it to seem like these townhouses were just built for the purpose of university. Like someone came in and was like, I want some townhomes here so that we can house more students. So they were like, okay, here's some brand new uh, student housing for you. And then each one is decorated literally uh, pretty much identically. I identically? That doesn't seem like a word. Oh, my dog is making- oh, excuse do you hear that? <laughs> That's my dog trying to leave my room. I have little bells on my door and he's into it. Um, but I wanted each house to look exactly the same. But yeah, I wanted each house to look exactly the same because I wanted it to look just identical. That was, again, really, why am I so bad at explaining things? I feel like I explain the same thing over and over again. How do you people put up with me? But yeah, okay, that's enough of me saying the same thing over and over again. Just the fact that I literally duplicated things. And I also played around, um, while I'm doing this outside bit here, I played around with the debug items quite a bit just because it was maybe like the hmm, second time that I looked into the debug items. And debug items are really cool. Uh, with the fact that they are free, and I believe that they don't mark things as modded on the gallery, which is really cool, because for a while I think they did? Question mark? Somebody could update me on that. Sorry, I just ran back up the steps. I'm out of breath. <sighs> okay. <laughs> My bad. Um, yeah, I really like the debug items because they don't cost anything, so you can use a lot of the debug um, what am I looking for? What's the word? Trees and like bushes and rocks and stuff and they don't cost anything. So the house, of the, the house, the cost of your house stays at a minimum, which is pretty nice. Oh, sorry. I keep burping. My bad. My bad. I apologize. This is a little all over the place. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but this is just me trying to figure out what like theme I wanted because I wanted it pretty neutral. So I think I left all of the, actually no, I changed the wall colors to like a light gray and then I do a dark 
black like accent wall which i'm kind of obsessed with right now i love black walls i think they look really pretty and i will be honest by the time i put this onto the gallery i did end up using my cc wallpaper uh because my house kept being marked as cc for some reason or like modded so i was like you know what if it's gonna be marked as modded i'm gonna put on the wallpaper that i want to put on so i put it on <laughs> but if you want that wallpaper um i actually talked about it in my last sims video mods and cc i actually use i use bare wall paints and then there's like a one that's called classic wall paints with trim and i think that's the one that i use and it's just a ton of really really nice colors that we should have in game but don't and they all have trim and they're all just really freaking gorgeous and i'm obsessed i love it i just i highly recommend so if you are looking for this on the gallery first of all my gallery id is real kyrex that's also down in the description but it is going to be marked as modded because i did end up using cc wallpaper because it was just much prettier because i think i've talked about this before but ea <laughs> needs to step up their game in terms of um wall paints because they're just not it they're not it they all look um hmm, what's the word i'm looking for not good but also a lot of the grayish ones feel very purple to me and i again i don't know if this is just my computer or maybe it's just my eyes i don't really know but it doesn't um it doesn't compute it doesn't look good don't like it so that's why i got those cc wallpapers and again, I'm just kind of rambling, but at this point I'm just decorating each one and then I get to the point where I just duplicate all the items from one room into the next because like I said earlier, I wanted each room to look exactly the same. Well, not exactly because some of the layouts on the two tiny, um, the two end caps, if you will, is different because one of them is like a loft type scenario and the other one has the bathroom upstairs whereas the first one has the bathroom downstairs because i just wanted to try something a little different i didn't want them to be identical identical in terms of layout and i wanted to play around with the idea of the layout just to see if there was a better way to do it i do actually like the one with the loft up top way better like by the time i got to the end i was like mm, do i want to rebuild the other one because i like the loft type thing so much more i just feel like it looks way better and you don't end up with this weird creepy dark hallway well it's not really dark because you put lights in it but like you know what i mean like this just weird creepy hallway who wants to come up the steps into a creepy hallway down to a like one one tile wide as wide as your human being and go into a, a just a room i don't know and it's a tiny room at that like it's a tiny teeny tiny 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 room oh i did not play test these i'm so sorry normally i try to play test them did not play test them so if things don't people don't make it through sims can't fit i apologize i try my best to go through and like double check um objects without move objects on to see if it'll like place and like how far i can go with that and what kind of like if sims can fit but mm, i did not do that here <laughs> sorry so so sorry um but yeah i think i'm done talking because my mouth is very dry i'm out of breath and you're probably tired of hearing me so i'm just gonna leave you be because all i'm doing is duplicating things around and just copying it so yeah all right i'm gonna leave you guys be please watch to the end of this video and leave um down in the comments let me know one do you want me to do lps uh, and if you do want me to do LPs, like what kind of LPs do you want me to, to do? And then also what kind of builds do you want me to do? I'm always up for some new and interesting build inspiration. And I want to build things that you guys are looking for that maybe not other people are building. So let me know about that. But yeah, anyways, guys, I'm going to leave this video here. As always, have a life, happy time zone, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye! Bye!